Who are you? My name is Tatiana Ivan, and that question is a lot more challenging to answer than one might think. Um, I'd say at heart, I'm an artist. I really like to create things, um, whether you know through the written word or uh, visually, um, video. Um, trying to draw, I'm by no means a very great drawing artist, um, but I like to create things. And that's all I got. What was your goal while formatting the book? Topography is a very important element in setting a mood, um, essentially setting the tone of what you're going to be reading. So for me, that was very important um, to make sure that you know, the font, um, the size of the font, um, both of, of both you know the um, the poems themselves as well as kind of the explanatory text um, was suited to the content. So I spent a lot of time trying to find the perfect font, um, making sure that I had the um, the right size, um, you know, in relation of the of the title in relation to the words, to the the actual words of the poem. And then it was just a matter of you know, playing Tetris um, with all of our different po poetry, um, making sure that it fits on a particular size of, of, of the book. You know, do you want to go five and a half inches this way, eight inches this way, how, how tall is the book? Um, obviously, the bigger the page, um, the less thickness you'll have on the book. Um, do we want to go with paperback? Uh, do we want to go with hardcover? Paperback has a softer feel and all of those different elements. Um, they, as I mentioned, set, set the mood for what you're about to read. Um, so every little detail is very important. So I spend a lot of time trying to find the appropriate details for our particular content. Why do you write poetry? One day in my freshman year English class um, in high school, we were given an assignment to write a poem that began with the words, I knew I should have. We had to do it right there in class. I had never written a poem before. Um, I'd written stories, short stories, um, science fiction mostly, but never a poem and I, I had no idea where to begin. So I'm looking around, and everyone's scribbling down furiously, and um, I, I didn't know how to finish that sentence. You know, I knew I should have. So I um, started thinking about what kind of character might say that. Um, no, I should have. I knew I should have. And um, I came up with this you know, man who was in prison, you know, committed a crime, got caught. And he had all this regret, you know, he knew that he should have. And um, just started envisioning what that character might feel like. Um, what did he have regrets about? And the poem just spilled out onto the page. <laughs> and um, my teacher, I remember saying to me that, you know, it was, um, the poem was, was full of just raw emotion and... Um, Often my poetry gets described as very visceral, you know, that it has a very uh, gratifying, very visual elements, um, very emotional visual elements. And, you know, there's moments in, in life where you just have, you have so much, so much intensity, so, so much intensity in your emotions that they just, they, they can't be contained. And, you know, whether it's ecstasy or, or, or grief, um, sometimes you just need to put them down on paper, and it's it's very cathartic. And it also helps to bond with, with somebody who might be going through the same kind of thing, same kind of experience. Um, especially if you're, you know, if you allow yourself to be very honest, very vulnerable um, on the page, it really speaks to the person who's reading it. And that's why I write poetry.